Hey, what's up guys? It's Tarogi Pro Time. Welcome to our video today. We are going to go through a step-by-step -step process on how we can troubleshoot a computer that doesn't turn on. Let's clarify one thing before we move on to the troubleshooting technique that I'm going to share with you because I've been fixing computers many moons ago and people would call me and say, hey dude, can you come by fix my computer because it's not turning on. When I arrive and try to check this one, the computer is turning on, but it doesn't have a display. If the computer doesn't turn on, when you press the power button, there will be no lights that are going to blink or light up, like the power indicator, nothing. And you can also verify this one by opening the cover of the PC. Remove the screws. You can use a screwdriver if you need to, and then remove the cover. You can check if the fan of the processor is spinning or the power supply fan is spinning. It means that there's power flowing through if these are spinning. At the same time, there are also LED indicators there. The problem they are facing here is that it has no display. That's a different kind of story. What we're going to look into is it doesn't really turn on. You press the one, no reaction at all. As we move on on how we can troubleshoot the computer system itself, we need to make sure that there is power coming out from the outlet. If technicians are going to do this one, they're just going to pull up their multimeter and then try to test if there are power coming out there. But in our case, I would assume that you do not have a multimeter, so we're not going to use a multimeter. What we're going to do is be resourceful. Try to plug in another device there so that you can see if it's working, like your charger, try to plug in. You can verify that one. If that's good, we need to make sure that this power cable is working because in some cases, this might be the problem. Over time, it deteriorated and it became faulty. The way you can check this one is try to plug it on another device that uses same kind of power cable. If both of those are good and working already, we can go into the computer. Now, when I'm troubleshooting the computer, there are three things that I always look into. It's the power supply, it's the power switch, and the motherboard. We are going to start with the power supply because this is the first entry of the power. As this computer is already open, we need to unplug all the cables from this computer. Starting from this power cable connected to the power supply, then disconnect the internal power cables. This is for the hard drive, that is for the main power of the motherboard, and the 12 volt pin power. Make sure if you're going to pull this one, you press the lock because it will be very hard if you're not going to press that one. Same with this P1 connector. You have a lock here. You need to press that. Okay. Next up, we need to unscrew this power supply from the case so that it would be much easier to troubleshoot. Now, we can check this power supply if it's working or not. By doing a very simple trick, we can test if this power supply is working or not. By connecting the black and green wire, this will turn on the power supply. If it's working, then the fan will spin. If it's not, it will not do anything. We will use a paper clip to connect both of these wires and try to see if it's going to work. Now let's plug this power supply and check if the fan will spin. Now the fan is not spinning, it means that this is faulty or it is not working. So I have a new power supply. I'll just remove this plastic seal and we're going to try the same scenario. We're going to connect the green and black wire to see if it's going to spin. So I'll remove this pin, put it into the new one. All right. Okay. And then I'll grab that power cable, plug it to this new power supply. Okay. It's good. Ta-da! It's working! Alright! What we need to do is put this back to the case and try to see if it's going to power up the computer. I'll put aside this faulty power supply and 
we're going to put this to the case and hopefully everything will work fine okay screw tighten up yep put back the cables make sure they're intact let's make that fan space clear for now let's we'll just put aside these wires so that we can test plug this power supply then we need to plug it to the outlet it's time to power it on bam there you go we have a light indicator there and see the fan okay the fan is spinning like what i've told you and the power supply is spinning it's loading the operating system so it's working we're not yet done guys because like what i've said earlier there are three things you need to check what happened was when we checked the power supply it was not working so when we replace it the computer turned on but what if we check the power supply and the power supply is working there are two things left for us to check to troubleshoot the computer it's the motherboard and the power switch now the next thing i would like to check would be the power switch because every time we're going to turn on the computer we need to press that power button so there's always this movable thing about this power switch that interacts to people that you need to press there is a greater chance that this might be the problem let's get closer to the computer and here below you can see that there is a pin here with it says power switch or power sw this is the connector that is going to the switch so if you press the switch this is going to connect both pins to turn on the computer if the switch is broken even if you press that one your power supply is working your motherboard is working and you try and press and press that power button there it will not turn on so what we're going to do is get this screwdriver and then uh, as we have removed that uh, switch connector going to the front panel power switch we can directly connect those pin using a metal metal kind of thing like a screwdriver so we can push that one like that the computer is going to turn on tada it's working it's turning on there's no problem with the motherboard we can say that there's a problem with the power switch however if we directly turn on the computer into the motherboard like what we did with that screwdriver and the computer is not turning on you already know what is the problem it's the motherboard what you need to do is you need to replace the motherboard if it is beyond your capability to disassemble the computer it's the time to call for a tech to replace that one but if you're a DIY guy like me, then I would do it. I'll, I'll disassemble the computer, remove that motherboard, and go buy a replacement. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it helps this channel grow. And if you are not yet subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers. Let's grow together. you learn. This channel will grow. We come up with more videos. I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.